Welcome back, everyone, and uh, as you can see, we're on 64. It's a uh, emulator, so I mean, it's not as great, but yeah, let's see what we do. But um, we're gonna bring you. Uh, if you can't tell by the music, we are bringing you Banjo Kazooie. So um, let's see how this is gonna go. Um, I'm playing on the keyboard right now, so it's pretty difficult. I have another file going that I've been just practicing and uh, trying to get used to the keyboard. And it's been going. And it's been going. So uh, there's going to be a few sloppy times, some mistakes made, and such. But uh, bear with me. I'm going to get a USB controller soon, and we will be fine. But all right, let's let's get this going. Um, for those of you who don't know, this game is made by Rare, which made a bunch of great games um, like Conker's Bad Fur Day, Banjo Tui. Uh, they help. They, they were the uh, company that made Goldeneye, and um, so yeah, and uh, there were remakes made for the 60, uh, for the Xbox, and the ever infamous uh, Banjo Nuts and Bolts, Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts or whatever it was, which people really don't talk about, yeah, but uh, this is the very first one that started the series off, and it's, um, it's kind of like Mario 64 in a way, where it, uh, where it, um, and Mario 64, you collect stars in each level, like, uh, and where in this one you just collect uh, jigsaw pieces and the such like that. And uh, the whole point is, uh, as you can see, the, the switch. Um, it's kind of like um, Snow White, I believe, kind of tale, where she'd want, where the, uh, the, uh, with the magic mirror on the wall, who's the fairest, that will spiel. So, um, yeah, you're playing this. Oh shoot. Sorry, I guess I messed that up. Uh, there was a big commotion, and your sister gets stolen by the witch. I didn't know I could skip that cutscene, so sorry about that, everyone. But off to a good start. But, um, so yeah, so the witch came and stole Tootie, your sister, and now you're trying to find out where she is. And, uh, I'll be careful not to skip cutscenes from now on. But, um,. Yeah, this I uh, I have actually never beat this full game myself, which is kind of I'm kind of ashamed, ashamed to admit that because uh, it is such a great game and one of the stables from the '64. But uh, as a kid, I just I just couldn't do it. I always rented the game and uh, would try my best to beat it, but um, no avail. I I did make it pretty far, but Clanker's Cavern always gave me in trouble, and I mean that's only the third level. But um, I kicked my butt. I don't, know, I don't know how this is going to go, because uh, swimming in, is inverted and using the keyboard is pretty terrible, so I'm not sure how far we can actually make it well without having a billion parts without a controller, so we'll see how it goes. Um, I already know the moves, um, and I'll explain them as I go through them, but... Um, yeah. Um, I'm actually gonna make this full screen, so sorry about if you can see all this stuff, but, um... Oh god, I messed up a lot of stuff. Um... Let's see, I hope it's still recording. So that's the, uh, backflip. You press Z, and, uh, A, and you do that little thing. Uh, my favorite is, uh... Oh, I guess you don't have that guy yet. Um... But before we, before we actually um, go about to level, we're going to get the uh, full honeycomb piece. So, um, oops. Jeez, it's freaking cauliflower. There we go. There's one guy. Um, if you collect six of them, they'll give you more health, so it's pretty nice. Uh, and then this is the, uh... Oh, they want me to do this thing. No, but it's this thing. And I believe that's called the, uh, Beat Buster or something like that? I don't know. But, um... So yeah, as I was saying, this, uh... This is one of the staples of the uh, 64, and if you've never played this game, I highly recommend making an emulator if you have working with 64. Uh, 
go buy it because I don't know how much they're going for, but it's worth all the money. And this comes from someone who's never actually beat the full game, so um, yeah, just uh, just get it. Trust us. Trust me. Um, trying to remember where everything is. I mean, I just played through these, so uh, I should be able to get all these honeycombs relatively quick. Um, and uh, you should see me. <laughs> I ran hand on the wrong key. Oh boy. Where can I go? Come up at. There we go. Um, it's already going to be really clumsy. Because I don't think any amount of playing will get. will actually make me proficient at using the uh, keyboard for these, because uh, there's just so many combinations and options, things you have to do. So. There's one. Two. And I'll just get that guy from there. Just get We didn't want him anyways, right guys? Um. So yeah, so I think that made three of them. There's one up in that tree up there. So we'll just go grab that guy real quick. There's four. There's five over here. Um, we're just gonna get them by doing the backflip. I think that's actually the only way to get them. But... Oh jeez. Hold on, I'm muting the mic, guys. I gotta sneeze. One second. Sorry about that. I'm back. I don't want to blow out you guys' eardrum by sneezing on the mic, so uh. We're back. Made it back alive. Didn't die. We're good. Um, and the last one is underwater over here, I believe. And uh, you'll see a bit of how bad I am swimming in this game, because uh, it's not easy even with the, with the controller, so um, with a keyboard it makes it that much harder, which me makes the second level one of the most impossible things in this game, really. Alright, uh, there we go. And, uh, that's a full life. Um, each level has a couple of those. I think each level might have, like, two or three of them. So, uh, we'll try to find everything we need. Oh, now we got all that stuff. We're ready to go to the Witch's Castle. Well, let's go, guys. That's right there. I'm gonna fall in the water again, probably. Um, this whole first area right here actually really resembles Conker's Bad Fur Day, in a way. Um... Kinda neat. Didn't even put that together until just now. But uh, I think Congress next uh, bad for a day when I get the controller is another game I'm gonna go into because uh, that's actually one of my favorite games. And I wish I could be playing on my 64, but um, sadly I don't have that kind of uh, hardware yet. Um, I was ready for the castle. Um, good luck. So the way that this uh, game is set up, and you'll see, is that you have, um, um, you gotta get puzzle pieces, there's some in the, oh, uh, oh, oh yeah, it, here's where you see where they're trying to start the process of transforming, um, uh, making Gruntilda the witch much more attractive than what she is. Or what she doesn't realize is beauty's on the, on the inside of the beholder, however that goes, so, but, um, um, yeah, like I said, this is a pretty great game, so I highly recommend it to anyone. And, um, uh, if you quit the game, like to shut it off, or if you get a game over, the process for, uh, the process happens, so this game actually makes it really hard to, uh, make you think you got a game over. Um, but, uh, so yeah, you go around and collect the jigsaw pieces. There's some in the overworld, just like in Mario. There were hidden star there were stars in the hidden in the overworld, um, and there's obviously some of the there's ten per level. So, uh, and then there's also uh, up here. I'll go up here real quick. I'm not supposed to be up here yet. I guess I can't. You need a the, the Kazooie Walk or whatever it's called. But um, uh, you come up to these puzzles right here. 
and like you can see how many no pe uh, puzzle pieces you need, and um, to unlock the places to even get to the levels, you have to enter the puzzle pieces. So um, uh, you press, uh, as you say, press A, a on the picture, and if uh, you want to fill up the whole thing, you press Z, which will come on later on. So we just want to fill in this puzzle, and uh, this game is. Part of what makes this game so neat is it doesn't help you really where you're supposed to go, like this one's right here. But sometimes you'll unlock a map, and then you have to go halfway across a whole castle just to get to the level that it unlocks. So, memorizing what the areas look like are, is really important in this game. And uh, my screen's freaking out right now, so we're gonna take it out of full screen. Um, sorry about that, everyone. Um, the uh, my game kind of messed up on me, so let's just jump in. Uh, nope. Oh god, I forgot the buttons already. Alright, here we go. Uh, sorry about that, everyone. Um, the computer's kind of freaking out. But, uh... Alright, so we already opened the thing, and we're ready to go in. So, let's go. Um... Alright, here we go. There are three new menus to learn. Oh, um, again, like, I know I got cut off and everything, but, uh, um, in, the, in each world there's no pieces you gotta collect. Oh, okay. Or completely miss, and uh, you gotta collect a hundred of them to, uh, because they unlock doors later on and let you go further. There's also five of these Jinjo guys in each map that you have to collect for a jigsaw piece. So in a way, they're kind of like the red cones from Mario. Red coins, not cones. Um, so, uh, yeah, as you can see, there's a uh, hundred in each world that you have to get, and, uh, in order to unlock the new note areas, you need a certain er uh, amount of notes, so it's, uh, you might as well just collect all the notes while you're here, because, uh, you'll probably have to come back for them anyway, so you might as well just get them while you're there. This is the first world, and I'm gonna <laughs> try not to fall off that bridge again. Um, Alright, let's see if I can change the camera the right way. Alright, perfect. Uh, this bull guy usually always hits me, so let's see if I can up here real quick. Good. Uh, you can break those things, and uh, they give you extra health. Um, well, not extra health, but they refill your health, so, uh, um, oops. Jeez. Alright, there we go. Um, and, uh, usually to get the pieces, you gotta solve little puzzles, obviously, because then I just gonna put them right out in the open. That'd be really dumb. But, um... So yeah, so, like I said, there's 10 per level, you gotta collect 5 Jinjos, 100 note pieces, and try, you want to get all the moves before you leave the world. Like I said, he tells you how many there are in each world when you get to them, so. Um, I know the first level pretty well, so it shouldn't take that long, unless I mess up a lot like that, but... Um, yeah, as a kid, like I said, I never beat the game, but I actually really loved this game. And, um... I wish I would have gave it more time. Or I actually would have bought it before it was... Well, it's probably a lot of money now, but... Uh, maybe sometime I'll just purge and get it, because it is just one of the staple games. So yeah, to find the moves, you come up here, up to these mole hills, and he tells you how to do the moves. And now uh, this is when you shoot the eggs. So, yeah. And, uh, you'll use this a whole lot in the game. Um... I, I hope my buttons are set up, but, um... <laughs> that would be pretty painful, pooping out eggs. But, um... So, yeah, this is, um... But th this is one of my least favorite things, trying to control it, shooting these eggs, it's just the absolute worst, but uh, 
Oh, he also uh, filled up your health for you, so... That's a nice little guy. Um, before we... Take care of the big monkey. We're gonna come up here. We shouldn't come up here yet, because, uh... I'll explain that later. But, um... Alright, let's go beat up the monkey. Ooh. Or fall off the ledge. Like I said, these, uh, controls are very touchy. And I really wish that I had, a uh, uh, a joypad, uh, 64 USB controller, because that would just make this so much easier. Let's see if I can actually kill him like this. I think I gotta get the last hit actually up here. Like that. <laughs> Why isn't he getting hurt? What happened? I don't understand that at all. Why wasn't it hurting him? I hope that's not a problem with the ROM. <coughs> but uh, you're supposed to come up here. Able to hurt him. Nope. Just wait till we get to a level where there's a lot of swimming. We'll be on that forever. If I thought Clanker's Cavern gave me trouble as a kid. Oh boy. Um. Oh. This should be the last hit, I think. There we go. Um, that took a lot longer than the shows. But, uh... Let's see. Um... So that is two in this world, so we only have more to go, guys. Only 